All right, I'm done shitting. We can carry on with the plot now. I'm on it. What a what an explosive entrance! <laughs> I'm on it. The casket of Saint Seros. Do they intend to steal her bones? We must defeat those enemies before they open the casket. Oh, we've got to rush through. Defeat the enemy general within 25 turns. But look closely at the ground. There are contraptions of some sort in place. Right. You'll have to look closely at the enemy's weapons and advance while attacking them from the best positions possible. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Let's see here. What's this? What is that? Terrain that raises resi oh, raises resistance. But there's all well, I mean, I suppose there's them. That raises defense, avoid, resistance, defense. All right, show me where everyone is. All right, here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna split into two teams and go straight up either side and kind of efficiently taking out as many people as possible. So here's how we're gonna split the team. Mercedes is gonna go with the weaker people so then she can get heals off. Well, it's gonna be an even match of strong and weak. However, fine. I will take one team over here. Felix will take another team over here. All right, how many long range people do we have? Annette, Mercedes, and Ash. I'll give it my all. Ash is gonna go over here. Annette will be on this team over here. Dudu can come with me. What should I do? Annette can go over here. No, wait. I meant Annette goes over here. Um, you guys take Dimitri because I've got to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. Ingrid, Ready. you've already got two lances over there, so you come over here with me. And the Mercedes. There's a lot of mages over on that side, so Mercedes, you go with them. But I don't want you to stand there. Alright, that'll do. Who have I not moved? Sylvain, yeah, you can go over there too. Alright, go nuts. This is turn one. Death Knight! Prove your strength and scatter these fools. I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings. That knight looks like he has experience. It would be foolish to challenge him recklessly. Oh yeah. Oh man. This is gonna end badly. Oh dear. Okay. All right, Dimitri, do it. Lovely, fantastic. You never had a chance. What do you mean you didn't attack back? How come they can attack from so far away and I cannot? Yeah, no, come down here. Where were they going? I don't understand. All right. It, hmm. Let's draw their fire. So what we're gonna do is. Dimitri is going to go up there. You are going to quickly take care of this guy. And I mean one hit. Or else. Or else. Ugh, come on. Alright, Sylvain, could you... Alright, cool. In that case. Felix can go up. Sylvain can do this. Lovely, well done. And then, oh, Ash, if you would. You best not miss. Lovely. I must steal myself. Well done. Yeah, that looks good. You can't attack anyone yet. Fine, good, Gucci. Everyone here can move the heck up, please. You had no chance, bitch! Next time, bring your friends. Felix is a cock, but he's one of the best cocks I've ever met. <laughs> oh, get it. Look at that. 63. I'm... Mm. I mean, well. Okay, come on, Dudu. Carry the team. Oh, hello. Lovely. That was very nice. Oh, that was... Pfft. You can try, but Dudu's just too tank for you. I'm sorry. Dudu is... Ugh, it's Dudu. What are you gonna do? 
healer. Alright, your reach is basically awful. So, Ingrid, if you don't mind. Well done. I love the slow run up. She was like, okay, gotta get gotta get some momentum going. Uh, um Annette would be best suited to going up next. That's fine. Okay, well you hold on, Mercedes. I just love watching you fight, Mercedes. Lovely. Let's use Nosferatu for this fight just because I want to keep her alive. Doing well, doing well. Fantastic. We love you, Queen. Alright. Now this is going to be hard. So what we're going to do is... We're going to get Sylvain up there. And we're going to equip his Javelin. So then no matter where they attack from, he's going to be able to attack back. Cool. Then Ash can come up behind. Take that. And there's no sip. There's no sip. He's going to wait. You guys are going to wait. We... Hold on. We are going to come up here... Things are kind of splintered right now, but that's okay. Yeah, we kind of need to wait for them to come to us. There's not much we can really do. The reinforcements haven't arrived. Nope. Hmm. If they approach from behind, uh -uh. we can attack them from both sides. Eat shit. I planned for that. All right. Annette, get up here. Annette could draw them. The Duke could go over and take care of- oh, no, we can't. But Ingrid could. I mean, he's not gonna do any damage to you anyway, so you're fine. Ha! Eat shit. You suck. I'll stick. That's good, Gucci. Who's got the most health here? Hold on. Technically, it's you. Javelins don't do a lot of damage, however, they're useful for when fighting against mages because they can attack from any range as well. So, we're gonna keep using that strategy. Meanwhile, Mercedes could probably do to heal some people. So Mercedes is gonna get up here and use Physic. Yeah. Make sure Sylvain doesn't get absolutely fucked up. Who have I not moved yet? Dimitri... Yeah, you stay there. Now this side is kind of... Alright, Dimitri's gonna come over and help. Oh god. Oh good. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Oh man. Alright, cool. He's fine. He's fine. Alright, Gucci. Hey now! I get to fuck him up. Okay. Oh no. This could not be worse. I hate dealing with mages. It sucks. Okay, he's gone. Neat. Neat. Ooh. Get it done, honey. Lovely. I aim for greatness. Hmm. I'm not at my You're fine. That's fine. And then to do if you wouldn't mind. That's lovely. We love that. Do it, Felix. You wow, what a queen. What a queen. Oh hey, look at that. They're here now. But there are only three of them. Yeah, they're coming, I get it. Alright. Um if we get Ash over here... Holy shit! What does he attack with? Hold on. Hold on. Scythe of Sariel. Alright, we're not doing that. We are not... What happens if I... Jeez. I don't know if I can... Hmm. Maybe we could just like sneak past him. Maybe we... Because he obviously won't move. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna move up around the sides. That's obviously a good idea. We don't have to kill him. We are heading the fuck out. We can forego that entire section if we just fucking go up the sides here. And you know what? That's fucking- that's fine by me. The only issue is I kind of need her to do some physic, but I don't think she can reach. 
No, she can't reach the queens over there. That's a problem. And then he's obviously gonna do his healing thing. That's very cute, very nice. Anyway, Dimitri's gonna kick the shit out of you. Lovely, fantastic. What's next? Very well done. Sylvain, you're an asshole, but oh no. They're aiming for Sylvain because he doesn't have- uh, he only really has his javelin, so... Let's move these guys up to this area. Let's get him out of the way. I'm super focused right now, that's why I'm quiet. Oh no, I hurt. Don't waste it. <laughs> Very nice. Oh no. Oh no! Can't believe it. It's fine, it's only Sylvain. Oh god. I thought I could do it. Oh god. Dadu can take a fucking beating, I'm just saying. Oh hey. Get it, girl. Oh god. What a queen! We love Mercedes in this house. We don't like mages. Now the thing is, if I attack him now, I will absolutely die. So let's move out of there. Mercedes, give me a hand. Yeah. Lovely. Very nice. Everyone else, get over here, Felix. Much more. What turn are we on? 15. We have 10 turns left. We'll use that just in case, because I want to definitely get rid of him. There you go! That's how you win! Alright, good. Such power dwells within? It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't... Uh, a sword. You're gonna get fucked up, son. Oh, fuck. That's the perfect place to put my peepee. That sword is... Oh. I see. What a pleasant surprise. He got away. We have no choice but to let them go for now. Professor, the way that sword is glowing, I wonder... Is the intruder here? Oh, looks like you have this under control. Oh yeah. You, round up any stragglers. We'll do. We did it! Hell yeah, I did it. What a quine. Thanks to the efforts of Taja, all your allies' motivation increased. Thank the Lord. Received Sword of the Creator. This mysterious blade unleashes its two true power in Taja's hands, extending to reach distant enemies. The weapon's durability is restored by five each time Taja chooses rest on her day off. Okay. I did it! As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Seteth, are you proud of me? Inciting a king Ow. noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. 
If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. There is something going on with her. I don't like it. There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. As for the masked knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. It makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Seros is not completely united. The Church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. How many times can you say church in one sentence? Ah, that's right. Gerald did say that you grew up outside the influence of the church. The Church of Seros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrett Mach. Church doesn't sound like a word to me anymore, do you know what I mean? You know when someone just says a word so many times that you're like, What the fuck is- what the fuck? That's happening to me right now. The Western Church lies far to the there west it is again. of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the kingdom's most impressive fortress, Aryan Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodlan and yet never have any contact with the Church of Seros is... It's hard to believe. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone like that as a professor. Oh? So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? Yep. Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that, quite unforgivable. And those who stray must be punished, I suppose. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. I'm about to die. She's about to straight up murder me. I'm sorry, everyone. It was nice knowing y'all, but, um... It's time for death now. Oh, God. I super don't like Lady Rhea. She's... Oh, my God. I'm, she's terrifying. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. Who are you? Y'all are fabulous. I have news. Both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected, it would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its Crest Stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. Gerald isn't my dad! Oh no. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough 
for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Got anything to say about that, Seteth? Hey, wait. There he goes. Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily. Even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vodlin would be consumed by war. Nemesis, the king of liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the sword of the creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the king of liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. She is like not listening. Look at her. She's straight up staring at the floor like, hmm, we need to mop today. While he's like having a straight up stress next to her. No, I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. She's terrifying, right? I'm just saying. She's gonna murder me in my sleep. I'm gonna wake up and she's gonna be straight up, sat on my stomach, hands around my throat like, now perish. And I'm gonna be like, mm, um, help. You know, like, I'm just saying. I just, ugh. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Cat... Cat... Uh... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Yes, ma'am. Oof. Stuff's getting weird. Stuff's getting weird. Part one. White clouds. Verdant rain moon. Tower of black winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlin are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance me. of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlin that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. Why is that deer always in these pictures? Like, no matter what, no matter where, the deer is always there. Is that supposed to be something? So it turns out I'm related to an ancient king. Um, there is, There's more to explore in the monastery? Where? Money, honey! Oh, hey. 
I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. Okie doke. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lance of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. Ouch. The Crestless cannot unleash the Goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. They just straight up admitted that they're killing millions of people in a church just because... Because they followed that church, and that church was like, oh no. I, um... So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Call me Jesus, darling. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! Jesus! Hi? You look... Um, kind of sodden, actually. Is it just me, or does his hair just look wet? Do you know what I mean? Did you just get out the shower? I understand. It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Hang on, is this fucking... Felix's dad? Indeed, your highness. You've grown so much in those years. I hardly recognize you. It is! This is Rod Reed, an old friend of my father's. I believe I've mentioned him, if you recall. Yep. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. <laughs> you flatter me, your highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. Oh, he has? What he been saying? Huh? Let me get my tea. What he been saying? What brings you to the monastery, Roderick? All right. Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory, and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. God, I'm so popular right now. Everybody wants to talk to me. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain the crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power. Dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected, there can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you.
Yay! I'm an ancient being! Sothis, did you hear that? I'm tank of shit! Oh god. Let's go to tea with Manuela and pray that we don't smell her stank from here. Thank you for your invitation. To what do I owe this surprise? You know it's your fucking birthday! Mm, what a lovely smell. I like this tea very much. Oh no. Let's pray this goes okay. Thank you. Jeez, your boobs are impressive. Credit where it's due. Them titties are bomb. Um. I knew you'd want to gossip. Alright, let's gossip, honey. Alright, I'm into it. Let's go. Oh. I thought you wanted to gossip. Alright, we'll try again. The opera? Oh. Okay. You like the opera? Am I that terrible of a woman? So I'm a little unkempt. What of it? Yes, girl. Spill the tea. So what? You don't show, like trim your pubes. It's fine. Um. Uh. Oh, I did it wrong. I don't care. It was still good. Thanks for the treat. Come by the infirmary any time you need anything. I'll be waiting, Professor. She's a disaster bisexual. Let's all agree. What are we doing today? Let's take a look at some heckin' certifications first and foremost. Yeah, I need to train up my lancing and my thingy bedingy. Hey now! You can be on a horse. Hey, that looks cool. That is a very cool outfit. No, but I really like this. I assume you've got that special one because that's what you're technically supposed to be. But you're a lancer. Why would you do that? Ah. Oh. Welcome to the gun show, ladies and gentlemen. Damn damn. <laughs> you look great, sweetie. Yeah, you straddle that pony. Congrats. You got up there. Wow! I love this coat! That looks so comfortable. Uh, oh, wow! Hanzo's here, everybody! Look at that fucking titty window! Wow! You look, uh... I love the tassels. I just love looking at the outfits. Look at how fucking extra all of this is. So, I assume he's technically supposed to be a lord because he has this special outfit for it. So maybe I'll train him up to be... Yeah, maybe I'll train him up. But for now, you can be a cavalier. It's annoying because in like every game I've played, the Fire Emblem games, obviously I've wanted to be a Wyvern Rider because they're cool. You can ride a fucking dragon. Come on! Why wouldn't you want to do that? Dragon and Griffin Rider. I was a super tanky Griffin Rider in Fire Emblem Awakening. But the issue is that with all of these games, they gift you like an ancient sword relic. Which is supposed to be wicked powerful and amazing and cool. But Wyvern, Wyvern Riders and Griffin Riders use axes. So it's useless to me. You know what I mean? I can't even use it because heckin... Exactly. It's all I'm saying. I'm just fucking... Pfft, I'm fucked up about it. Okay, let's do a, a seminar then. Well, actually, no, we should explore today because it's a good day and then 17th I will do a seminar. Yes, please. I can also talk to heckin thingy because... Welcome, Sothis. A stone? A stone. I do not forget. As I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. Ah, you attracted to me. That's fine. Uh, you're not my type, but go off. Is that me, or is it you? <sighs> I get it. It's fine. There's a quest from Seteth. Uh, Gerald wishes to speak to you. Then why would I talk, talk to Seteth then? Tending to the saints. The saint statues have been neglected. Will no one tidy them up? Oh, Flame, bless you. Anyone with good wielding materials can find me. Rhea, you having trouble adjusting? Maintain your training, Seteth. Clearing the way. Bandits spotted on unusual train routes. Alright, cool. Let's go do some stuff, talk to some people, make some friends. Hey. That's good, I needed more tea. Bernadetta! It's that time again, queen! Bernadetta! What can you train me in? Oh, flying. 
flying. But so can Seta, so like I don't want to waste shit on you. Flame, darling! Why is that fish so still? Wait, is it swimming sideways? Perhaps perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Oh bless your sweet little heart. Flane! Ah, oh, Professor. You are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you. Though I'm certain my brother would disapprove. I mean, I'd like to have some opportunities to connect with your brother, so like it could be an equivalent exchange if you wanted. Alright, let's heck in... Ah, set it! Okay. And then we should eat with... Did you? The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. I like this. Oh, dear, you're so precious. Did I maybe get... Ha ha ha! With who? Everyone has everything and I have not been paying attention. Do I not have one? Sadness, but that's fine. Alright, who are we talking to? I didn't even notice. To do. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not bothering you. Looks like you're pretty deep in thought. Does it? I just wanted to stop by and ask. It was your turn to cook last night, yeah? Uh, yes. Well, it was great. I was wondering if you could give me some tips. You know, teach me how to cook. I hear a girl loves a man who can cook. Sylvain. Yeah? You are from Fargus. You must understand how it appears for you to spend time with one from Duska. Stop, Dudu! Really? Come on! To be near me is to invite tedious misunderstanding. Oh, please. I don't care who misunderstands what about me. I talk to who I want. Besides, I believe the Dusker people are innocent. You do? Fargus and Dusker have been friendly since... Heck, forever. So why would our old friends from Dusker just up and assassinate our king? It doesn't make sense. Sylvain has more of a brain on him than I thought he would. Alright, fair enough. Sure, there are probably folks from Dusker who don't like Fargus. But do I think there's enough of them to mount an attack and slaughter the king and his whole company of elite guards? It is difficult to believe, considering the discrepancy in skill and number. Right? At most, I can see a misguided group of people from Dusker conspiring with someone else who had plans to dethrone the king. Maybe they were even lured into participating and used as scapegoats. Regardless, it doesn't concern you or the rest of your people. A person can't be judged by the worst of their kind. Or where would any of us be? God, you would... okay. Besides, people like to talk about me anyway, so let them talk. Okay, you're making a weird face. What did I say? I have misjudged you. I was under the impression you only cared about women. Big same. <laughs> well, I'm glad I've cleared up that misunderstanding. But really, there's no way I'm the only person who figured all that out. There must be people who think like me in Ferdiad, including His Highness. Agreed. But whatever the truth, we are still perceived as traitorous assassins. Once a misunderstanding takes hold, it isn't easy to clear the air. Not without solid evidence of the truth. But even if we found evidence that your people are innocent, those negative sentiments wouldn't disappear overnight. The only thing that can change that is time and effort. Depressing, isn't it? Time and effort. Yes, I believe you're right. Man, that got serious. Shouldn't we lighten things up with a nice cooking lesson? Very well. That was really nice. Dudu deserved that, okay? Who else are we friends with? Oh, Mercedes? Mercedes is gonna treat you well, trust me. She's a flower. Dear goddess, please protect us. Mercedes. Oh, Dudu, was there something you needed? His Highness sent me to collect you. I see. I'll be with you in just a moment. I'm almost finished here. You were praying. I was. Praying for everyone's safety. And praying for good desserts tonight. And that my next exam goes well. Oh, bless. The Fodlan goddess will accept prayers of any sort. <laughs> it's true. I've thought the same thing myself. That reminds me to do. Weren't you born in Dusker? Yes. Do the people of Dusker pray to the goddess too? Dusker had a very different view of religion. Oh? In Dusker, there were many gods. The sky had a god. 
the Earth had a god. We made offerings to the war god for victory in battle, held feasts for the sea god to calm the waves. So your people prayed to different gods depending on what they needed? Correct. Your beliefs sound so different from ours. Tell me more. Why? Dusker is a ruin. Stop it. Stop it. We love you, really. Come on. Accept it. Dusker may be gone, but you're still here. Would you tell me more about it the next time we meet? <sighs> if you insist. Really? That would be great. I'm looking forward to hearing more soon. Dusker is gone, but I'm still here. Dudu is the kind of guy you just want to hug. I'm just saying. Alright, Dimitri, who are you talking to? Sylvain, Mercedes, and Ingrid. Oh, he can talk to a lot of people. Nice. Start with Sylvain. I'd better avoid the training grounds. I swear his highness never sleeps. Did you notice Heckin he can only get up to B with Sylvain as well? What is going on? How come he can only get to B with some people? That's weird. Never seen that before. Sylvain? Is it safe to assume you've been wildly carousing with women? <laughs> I'm afraid that behavior simply will not do. Ah, your Highness! Hello. No, I was not wildly carousing with women. There was only the one. Let's just forget you saw me. Agreed? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's time someone talked some sense into you. And it seems the task has fallen to me. Tell him, spaghetti face. Sylvain, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself at night. So is your hair spaghetti or is it cheese string? Like, I... I'm trying to figure it out. It looks like cheese, but sometimes it looks like spaghetti. I'm still on the fence about it. But you must learn the art of moderation. Again and again, you end up wandering the streets until the early morning. Okay, I get it. I don't need one of your lectures. I've got them all memorized anyway. I promise I'll be better in the future. I'll stop going out at night. I'll focus more on my studies. And in return, you'll go into town with me. And we'll invite some cute girls to dinner. Shall we shake on it? The way your mind works absolutely confounds me. How did you even arrive at such a notion? You need to get out more. Naive and uptight is no way to live your life. Naive and uptight? <laughs> yes, well, compared to you, I imagine I'm downright run of the mill. <laughs> he sounds so like, yeah, well, shut up. So like, whatever. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Most men are experienced enough to know not to give a dagger to the girl they- Will you never let that rest? <laughs> it was many years ago. Perhaps a good knock on the head will help you to finally forget about it. What did you do, Dimitri? With your brute strength, a knock on the head could knock the life right out of me. You'd better watch that temper, your highness. So how about this? I'll try to behave, and you'll try to loosen up. <sighs> if I do as you wish, Will you truly promise to improve your behavior? what I just say? Of course I'll behave. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. What about you? I want to see you with a girl on your arm. I am a man of my word. I will attempt to do as you ask. But you had better uphold your end of the bargain as well. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'll believe it when he introduces me to the lucky girl. Oh, Dimitri, you always take even the silliest things so very seriously. This should be fun. Alright, so let me get this straight. Dimitri just agreed to essentially... If you stop getting laid, I'll start getting laid. I... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's hilarious. Mercedes! Why is there like a... Yeah, no, look, see, Ash and Sylvain, you can't... That's weird, and he- Whoa, hold on. Whoa, hold on! Alright, so obviously- Okay, so with with some characters- Let me show you on here. Look at this, you see all those S's? That's, like, marriage. Like, A is like the bestest friends ever, S is the marriage level. Right? And obviously there are some people I can't marry because they're women and they don't like women. There are some people here that are, like, bisexual, like Linhart. Um, Dorothea likes girls too, which is cool. Um, 
but yeah, S means that you can marry them. Now, look at Dimitri. He can only- hmm. That's really strange. And I've never seen this before. In my life. Why- Why can he only reach S rank with the main character? What is happening? <laughs> I'm not super comfortable with this. Can they not marry each other? Hold on. Oh, all of them can only- I can't marry other people off? Oh yeah, because they took out the fucking- Alright, in previous Fire Emblem games, if you married people together, A, they would get incredibly good buffs when they were on the field together, but also you would unlock a child? Now in Awakening, that child would like appear from like another dimension to come back and help the fight in in Conquest slash Birthright. You put them in these like special places so they could grow up, but time was really fast there, so they would grow up really quickly and come back and help the fight. You know, some kind of bullshit segue. But in this, they got rid of the children. So... Alright, fair enough. I Only I can marry people. No one else can be happy. <laughs> My goodness. Sword training again today? Don't overdo it, alright? I certainly won't, but thanks for your concern, Mercedes. It's more of a hobby than anything, so don't worry too much. A hobby? How wonderful! I would probably get tired of it, but that's just me. Hmm. Didn't you say you hoped to take the sword test soon? <laughs> no! <laughs> You're right. I completely forgot that's coming up. What should I do? Bless her. To be honest, I've been a bit worried as I haven't seen you at the training ground much. Why didn't you say something sooner if you were so worried about me? Yeah, you tell him, Mercedes. It didn't occur to me that you could have forgotten. But you're right. I should have mentioned it. As an apology, why don't you let me help you with your swordsmanship? You would do that for me? I'd really appreciate your help. Okay, but keep in mind that since we're short on time, we may have to overdo it a little. <laughs> He's gonna beat the shit out of her. I don't like to overdo it, but if we must... I'll try my best. It's settled. Let's begin. Don't tell me you've forgotten how to hold a sword. We have our work cut out for us. Bless. I usually just hold the sword without thinking about my grip, you know? Let's see what happens now that you've shown me the proper way to handle it. <laughs> I was nervous at first, but just look at me now. <laughs> Bless her. <clears throat> oh. She fucking killed him! She straight up just murdered him! <laughs> Oh no! Well, I didn't realize offering to help you would mean risking my life. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I just meant to swing the sword. I didn't think it would go flying like that. <laughs> I'm impressed with how quickly you can dodge. Yes. <laughs> I know you didn't intend to murder me. Though that scare likely took years off my life. Maybe I'm not cut out for this whole sword fighting thing. Nonsense. It's far too early to give up. The first time I picked up a sword, I was much like you. It's true that different people are better suited to different things. But if you keep at it and refuse to give up, you're certain to improve. Do you really think so? Thank you, Dimitri. It's very kind of you to- Oh, there's a rip in your cuff, Dimitri. How do you think- <laughs> It seems I didn't dodge your sword fast enough. Don't worry, I can easily repair it. I'm the one who tore it, so I'll be the one who mends it. How does that sound? No, please don't worry yourself over it. Just focus on your exam. He can sew as well. He's basically perfect. I feel like something's gonna happen. He can't be that, like, good and pure and perfect. I'm just saying. I'm a little worried about it. Alright, I'm gonna go through all of these S ranks. S ranks? I'm gonna go through all of these supports. And then I'm gonna call it. That sounds like, well, I'll get through this date. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for sparring with me, your highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? 
No, I cannot allow that. Hm? It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. Who's Glenn? So you recognized it. Yes, he shared much with me. Who's Glenn? I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Who's Glenn? Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now. He never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. Oh. That family's not big on displays of affection. Oh. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself. And like Glenn. I will do so for the sake of my homeland. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, your highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our trading sessions as much as you do. Hmm. Hmm. God, there's lots of people making friends right now. Jesus, there's lots of people making friends right now. I mean, okay. Why can some people only get to be with some people? This is very strange. Wow, Ash, training again? You're taking this whole night thing pretty seriously. It's just my daily training. Maybe you could stand to be a little more eager yourself? Oh, tell him, bitch. If I want to be a great knight, I've got no choice but to put the effort in. No choice? I think you're making life too difficult. Knights don't have to be perfect. All I'm saying is, I've seen some pretty sloppy knights out there. That's not going to be me. I'm going to be a proud knight. Virtuous and gallant. Virtuous and gallant? Are you kidding me? If you just ride around being virtuous, people will get fed Ow. up. They'll boot you out of town. It's never wrong to have virtue. Not even if it means being made an outcast. Interesting idea. You think very highly of this whole virtue thing. Say. Have there been any knights who became great just by thinking highly of themselves? Think on this. Knights are supposed to protect people and earn their admiration. Isn't that right? Well, yes. So what are you saying I should do? Seize people's hearts! Oh my god. This is just a fucking Kingdom Hearts remake, everyone. What do you mean? You want people to love you? Offer them something they haven't got. Guess what that is? It's you, Ash. They don't have you. Get out there, buddy. Be valiant. Help people. Here, I'll show you how it works. Oh, there it goes. Sylvain, don't go bothering people. Hey there, cutie. You seem to have lots of bags there. They must be heavy. My name's Sylvain. Let me help you out. Are these going in the warehouse? Helping out those in need. I guess that's a good start. Yeah, but not for the point of, like, getting in their pants. He... that was a bad example. But, like, you know. No thanks necessary. It's been enough just to be able to talk to you. Well, if you insist, how about we go get some tea? There it is. It must be fate that we met like this. I'd like to get to know you. Great knight, huh? More like a great philanderer. Tell him. Seems like all he wants to do is flirt with women. No, I can't allow this. I have to stop him. Do it. Oh, I wanted to see. All right, there's like 12 more. Let's get this done. Oh, hey, he can talk to people too. Cyril, Catherine, Gilbert, Marianne, Petra, and Casper. Interesting. Hi there, Ash. Here to do some reading as well, I take it? Uh, Ash? Huh, Ingrid. Oh, you gave me a start. How long have you been standing there? Bless you. Not too long. Apologies for startling you. Must be a great book for you to be so deeply engrossed in it. What has you so captivated? Oh, uh, it's quite an old book. One of the really old legends of Fargus. Aha! It must be the Sword of Kaifon then, yes? Oh, so you know it. 
Oh, yes. I know it quite well. I read it often as a child. In fact, I read it so much that my personal copy fell apart. I brought it everywhere with me. I adore that book. The Tale of the Warrior Kaifon, whose devotion and loyalty enabled his best friend Luke to become king. Exactly. I love the image of him charging forward into the fray, ready to take on any obstacle in the name of his king. Indeed. He was the very picture of the perfect knight. In my opinion, the best chapter is right around the middle of the book. Ah, oh, the part about the war of the eagle and lion? That's my favorite part. In a flash, Kaifon's sword flew from its scabbard. The knight parried the assassin's blade mere inches from the spine of his king. Kaifon's blade hummed like the wind, slashing the enemy's throat. In mere moments, their forces lay vanquished, decimated by his mighty blows. Jeez, this is adorable. <laughs> I can recite the entirety of it if you like. I never grow weary of that tale. The pinnacle of knighthood, with all its struggles and glory. I know just what you mean. I never get tired of it. Some people laugh at me for reading these old tales, but I'll never outgrow them. I'm glad to find someone who shares my enthusiasm. I'm glad of it as well. Tell me, what other books do you enjoy, Ash? Well, the first one I ever read was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. You have fantastic taste. That story is another favorite. The final chapter makes me tear up every time. I know. When I first read it, I just couldn't get that ending out of my head. It seems we have much in common. I look forward to chatting again sometime. I'd love to. Yes, let's. That is so cute. That's adorable. Those two, best friends. Best friends forever. All right, Slane, what are you up to? I don't want you anywhere near Mercedes. <laughs> don't touch her. Keep your filthy mitts away from her. Mercedes, you look divine as always. Are you off to pray? Step off my woman. Oh, hello, Sylvain. I was just on my way to pray. How did you guess? Well, because I've been watching your lovely... Mm-hmm. Watching her lovely what, Sylvain? Oh, I get it. You're the type who's always ah. looking at girls, aren't you? She gets it. I won't lie. I do enjoy beholding women. But I don't mean it like that with you. I know I sound like a dope. I just... I think you're special. Oh, really? You think I'm so clumsy that I need someone to watch over me. Is that why you can't take your eyes off me? Tell him, Mercedes. You're beautiful, and I mean that. You're... <sighs> How can I put it without sounding even worse? Okay, here goes. I want to get to know you better. As friends, I mean. I don't know where to begin. Well... What's something you like? I like to pray. I've been praying regularly since I was a child. You grew up in the Empire, didn't you? That's right. I was raised in House Bartels. Bartels? I thought you were born to House Martreats. It's a complicated story. I'm not sure that it's a very interesting one, but I'm happy to share it with you. I don't mean to be nosy, if it's too personal. Oh no, I don't mind. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. House Martreats fell shortly before I was born. Oh. My father passed away while my mother was still pregnant with me, so she had nowhere to go. After I was born, my mother ended up marrying the head of House Bartels. Shortly after, my mother bore a true Bartels child who bore a crest. She and I were treated as though we were no longer useful to the family after that. Oh, bless. You think the Bartels were just using her to secure a crest? They must have been. My mother and I were removed from the family and forced to flee to a church in the kingdom. I abandoned the Bartels' name and took up our old family name again. So you grew up in a church? Okay, it makes more sense now why you're praying all the time. Yes, I... Oh, praying! I forgot that I was on my way to pray. Right, and I interrupted you. Well, see you around, Mercedes. Yes, see you! House Bartels wanted a crest and ruined other people's lives to get one. These idiots are all the same. Well, that was adorable. How many, how many left? One, two, three. And the whole will be like, what, like three, four minutes each? Hmm. All right, here's the deal. I'm gonna have dinner and I'm gonna, or have I already had dinner? Did I already do that? I feel like I already did that. All right, fine, we're not gonna have dinner. You know what, that'll be good enough for now. I'll look at the supports and the rest of the stuff next time.
Alright, that's that's good. I'm done. 